Health experts are taking a closer look at a different kind of COVID-19 test, an immunity test, otherwise known as seroprevalence, that tells you whether you've already had the coronavirus and have developed antibodies against it. The antibody test will be in a very important tool, perhaps our most important tool, as we eventually ease the lockdown. Andrew Neumer is a professor of public health at UC Irvine. He says it's possible that flu you thought you had late winter was actually COVID-19. Whatever you had in December was not COVID, and, and it's very possible that what you had in January was not COVID. As we move into February and March, it's it's more likely that what you had may have been COVID. We asked LA County Health Director Barbara Ferrer earlier today about the antibody test, and she says the county does have the capacity to do them. We're actually waiting for approval to do some community seroprevalence testing using an antibody test. The results could help officials determine who can go back to work, what places of business can reopen, and who needs to keep socially distancing. Because if someone is negative, that means they're susceptible. And that means even if their neighbor can go back to work, that that person needs to be very careful. It could also reassure health care workers who may have developed immunity to COVID-19. Dr. Philip Felgner is director of UC Irvine's Vaccine Research and Development Center. Uh, I get a couple of calls every day now from uh, nurse practitioners and health care workers who would like to know if the, the flu that they had uh, some time ago was actually coronavirus and they've recovered from that and they'd like to know if they're protected when they go into the hospital. By most measures, the capacity to widely give antibody tests is still weeks away. But there are signs that it's happening. A Colorado county is testing all 8,000 of its residents, and a San Diego company just got FDA approval for its antibody test a week ago and is working on making them widely available. I'm Hermel Aragawi for CBS2 News.